Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out three amazing attacks from the number one clan capital clan in the whole world. White Wolves, yes! Including some of the new troops and the new spell as well. So remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. So on to the first replay, a one shot against Goblin Mines using what? Using a mixture of troops including the new Mega Sparky. So, what's going to happen here then? A graveyard spell in front of Mega Sparky. Obviously, it's dangerous just sending Mega Sparky by itself. So, you need to send in some support troops. The graveyard spell will help distract those defenses. Mega Sparky is especially good against defenses grouped together, of course. Super Wizard's been sent in to get rid of those nasty goblins from the Goblin Thrower. The graveyard spell is keeping the single target inferno busy. And as I mentioned, Mega Sparky loves defenses close together. So Barbarian's there as well. And that inferno is out of there. And Mega Sparky making easy work of those defenses moving through the base. There's a heal spell there as well to help out. And guys, we've got three replays today showcasing some of the new troops, some amazing attacks. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. Mega Sparky's gone further into the base. There's some more defenses close together. And what you notice is this clan, you know, number one ranked in the world, likes using super giants in front of the main army to distract the defenses. That's a good tactic. There's some hog raiders there as well. And Mega Sparky doing a sneaky attack through the mountain range there. That's interesting. But three stars are so close. What's left? Oh, there we go. The Endless Haste Spell Factory. Goodbye. Now, this was, of course, Goblin Mines. I think a default layout. Still very impressive one-shot attack. What have we got next, guys? Of course, we've got a two-shot attack against Balloon Lagoon. First attack, 80%, nearly a one-shot using Super Miners. Super Miners aren't just here for show. Guys, they're really powerful. I think they're a great, great troop. Some skeleton barrels on the left. You might. The only thing with super miners is you might have to funnel them a tiny bit. On this base, we're going along the right-hand side. Bit of funneling on the left. Some skeleton barrels to help out. And then just send the miners in at this point. Guys, it's so easy. You can go get a drink of water or something. Stay hydrated. That's all you need to do. Put down the heal spells a bit later on. But for the casual player like myself... For the clan capital, super miners are powerful against the right district, of course. They're very powerful and super easy to use. You almost don't need to think about it, guys. You send them in a line. You just need to try and funnel them to where you want. Put down a heal spell here and there. And guys, they're so easy to use. So we just uh, fast forwarded a bit in the replay and as you can see, we're going to get one star or so in a moment, up to 80%. Yeah, super miners are great. Re they're my favorite troop in clan capital, easy to use, and it's nice to see the top clans using them as well. Like I said, not just for show, they're a very good troop, especially if you don't have much time or, you know, you, you don't have the time to study a base and think, OK, we need to send this troop here, that troop there. You can just send in the super miners, like I said, maybe a little bit of funneling at the beginning, then send them in, use the heal spells. And you're going to do really well with them, guys. They are a fantastic troop. But what else have we got? We're going to find out in just a moment. The Endless Haste spell is really good as well. Let me know in the video comments which is your favorite troop out of the new update. Super Miners, Mega Sparky, or the Mountain Golem now. Not a new troop, but of course, with the Endless Haste spell, the Mountain Golem is now pretty impressive, as you'll see later in the video. So there we go. 80%. I think we've got something left somewhere. Jump spell attacking something. 80%. So how are we going to three-star this base? Yeah, we're going to use a Mountain Golem. So there's the Endless Haste spell. And if you haven't seen the Mountain Golem before using this spell, it's a lot slower, trust me. But the Endless Haste spell makes the Mountain Golem a really, really good attack strategy again. Again, it's going to depend on the base. Single target Infernos are a big no for the Mountain Golem. Uh, he's moving through the base now, smashing down those walls. He doesn't care. And guys, you've got to be careful. One of my friends down the road, Steve, he's a Mountain Golem. And sometimes I see him walking down the street, just smashing walls apart, standing on cars. I go, Steve, can you look where you're going, please? And he's like, Moose, I'm a Mountain Golem. I can't. I'm just too big. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, where's the Mountain Golem? No, you can't go over water. 
Mr. Mountain Golem. So there we go. So that was our second attack. We're speeded up a little bit now. The Mountain Golem does not move this fast. This is times two speed for you guys, okay? So yeah, we checked out the Mountain Golem, Miners, Sparky, uh, Mega Sparky, sorry. Uh, so what are we going to check out next? We're going to check out a combination again. So what I'm going to try and do, guys, is once a week at least bring you some top attacks from the top clans in the world so we can learn together. So a two-shot attack against Skeleton Park now. Because, guys, I'm not very good at the clan capital, so seeing replays like this helps me as well. So jump spell there. Some barbarians attacking. Uh, some minions there as well attacking. A bit of funneling, I guess. And what else have we got to use? We've got some more super barbarians. Like I said earlier, super giants are really good for sending in front of Mega Spark. Here we've got a battle ram there helping out. Some Barbarians, of course, afterwards. And Mega Sparky moving towards that cluster of defences to do mega damage. There is the Super Giant. So just a Super Giant being placed just in front to distract those defences. There's another Battle Ram, another Super Giant, some Barbarians. Just keeping those defences away from Mega Sparky so it can deal damage from afar. So if we're going to learn anything today about Mega Sparky, it's protect Mega Sparky. Keep those defences away from it. Use other troops as distractions barbarians super giants anything like that frost spell over on the main area where the defenses are mega sparky just slowly moving its way over and i would say in real life guys i wouldn't use mega sparky as a car don't be buying a mega sparky as a car it just looks like it's a it doesn't move very fast it takes you forever to get to work or wherever you're going so Super Giant helping out. That, yeah, if I look close, that's Gary the Super Giant doing a great job. Mega Sparky says, not yet. I'm not going into that nasty area. I've got a few defenses to take out just at the bottom of the base here. And guys, if you're enjoying the video afterwards, please do like the video. I never really normally ask, but it's quite important. Uh, so algorithms and things like that. So only if you enjoy it, though. You know, if you don't enjoy it, definitely don't like it. Mega Sparky now doing loads of damage, moving into the core of the base. We're at 30 odd percent. Mega Sparky trying to do some damage now. Go on, Mega Sparky. Yes. So that's all of our troops used. We've got nothing else left. A few seconds left of the replay. How much more damage can we get out of Mega Sparky? Hopefully take out the minion hive. That's really, really annoying. And the second stage of the attack will be using the Mountain Golem again. Because the Mountain Golem, like I mentioned, is amazing. Uh, especially with the Endless Haste spell to help out. But it looks like, yeah, Mega Sparky's in some trouble here. So guys, what do you think of the new update, by the way? Let me know in the video comments. I think the new update, fantastic. Got these new troops, Mega Sparky. The Super Miners are my favourite. They're fantastic. So there we go. 53%. Now, can we two-star the base? You know we can because you've seen the overview. So, yeah, don't try and trick me, guys. Another frost spell there. And where is the mountain golem there with the endless haste spell? Now, the mountain golem is just going to move at great speed, not great speed, but faster than before through the base. Got some miners as well. They're still useful to take, you know, just to go through the base quickly, take out random buildings. Got a jump spell as well to help out if we need it. And the miners are there. The power pecker as well. And as you can see, the mountain golem just destroying everything in its path. Nothing can stop it. So, guys, I do hope you've enjoyed the video today. Like I mentioned before, I will try and bring you a video every week just to showcase new attack strategies. In fact, the leaders of the clan, White Wolves, they pick the best attacks to showcase sort of easy to use and powerful attack strategies for you and it's nice we can see the new troops in action at the moment as well so you can see how to use them and guys have you got level four miners yet if you haven't i would say definitely super miners that is sorry yeah get your super miners upgraded as a priority straight away if you can if you can just because they're so easy to use you know for if you're a sort of a casual clan the best troop you can be using probably is super miners, just to do well in your district attacks and try and get as many people involved as possible. So yeah, we've learned today that the mountain golem is really good with endless haste. Super miners are overpowered and fun and very easy to use. And if you use mega sparky right, it can be severely overpowered. Really nice to use. Maybe put some super giants in front of it, things like that. Power packer, 
and the mountain golem giving us the three stars. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more as well. Remember to practice your funneling, guys. And I'll see you next week with another Clan Capital video. Bye.